I see the numbers up there, Fungai, but yeah, the market's been struggling a bit. Normally, you expect about $2 million a day in business, but uh, at the moment, you're running about just under a $1 million a day. What's happening? Um, good afternoon. It's very true. The, the markets have been struggling over the last uh, two or three trading sessions. Uh, last week, we were seeing an average of about 2.4 million to trading on the market, but this week we have actually seen volumes going down significantly, with today's volume traded as being just under $600,000. Part of the reason is the report from the government that uh, a new levy is going to be introduced, which is going to be levied on all companies to finance the indigenization of the economy. So I understand that this levy is for companies turning over 500,000 US dollars a year, which is probably most of the people on the exchange. Is there any indication yet of how severe or how much this levy might mean for companies? Uh, one thing which has been quite clear on the local market is that most entities are actually struggling. There is not enough liquidity on the market. So the introduction of any levy, no matter how well intended it could be, would obviously have a serious negative impact in terms of the cash flows which these companies are actually having. Most of the companies are actually having to borrow funds at market rates, which are in some cases in excess of 25% per annum, and they are actually bleeding. We are actually having companies which are actually conducting right issues in order to pay off crippling levels of debt. So having to pay a levy would obviously have a serious negative impact on virtually all the companies which are on the exchange and even those which are actually not quoted on the global stock exchange. And this is the second blow in recent months. I understand that this is the lowest the market has been in terms of volumes since the indigenization bill was gazetted several months ago. I mean, do you think matters might get even worse? Um, particularly, I think things could actually get worse, particularly if no clear signals are actually brought onto the market in terms of the magnitude of the levies because that would then lead to a lot of speculation which could lead to more harm being done on the market. If people actually come up with more information as to the magnitude of the levy and the timing of the levy, this could settle the market. But at the moment, a lot of people are actually speculating and this is actually having a negative impact on the market as a whole. So I understand there have been some bright spots amid the gloom. Uh, one of them, Inscore, the uh, food and snack people. Those who've been to Al Harari, they always remember them. They've had a good run on the market today, you say? Yes, uh, Inscore is actually weathered the storm better than most of the other big cats, uh, despite the fact that they are not going to be releasing results soon. They actually, their share price has actually been firming up over the last few trading sessions. It's actually gone up to around 61 cents per share. And um, what are the other, some of the other uh, gainers on the market today? It must have been quite difficult. Um, we did see a slight recovery in the price of one of the mining counters, Rio Zim. Uh, they are coming onto the market, they are trying to raise funding for capital project and their share price did firm up slightly ahead of the EGM which is meant to approve the right offer but it's one of the few which is actually firmed up over the last uh, um, trading session.